So a glass everywhere. <laughs> and I noticed that the items in the back of the car were gone. It's an age old reminder. Hide your belongings if you have to leave them in the car. But we can all admit we don't always do what we know to be best. After dining out last night, ANC Commissioner Salim Adolfo says he and some friends came out to shattered glass, cell phones, a laptop and a purse, all gone. Oh, uh, to be honest, it's, uh, it's a lot of mixed emotions. Uh, really want the stuff back, just trying to deal with, you know, you lose a lot of those things. And it's, I use those things to help the community. So now I have to wait a little while longer to try to get into a space to help the community. And I'm usually on the other end of helping people resolve some of those issues. Now I'm somebody that needs help to get you know, this issue resolved. He says it only took a few moments for D.C. police to show up when they called them to the scene on the corner of Otis Place in Georgia Avenue Northwest. While the ordeal has left him and his friends a little shaken, he says he's more concerned with helping the person who stole their things. You can bring it by the ANC office, just return the stuff, and you know, we'll just let it go because we really need those items to, you know, to help the community. And if you're in need of something, you know, some resources, I'm the person that can help you get to the resources that you need. In Northwest DC, Megan Rivers, WUSA 9. Adolfo says he didn't see any other cars with broken windows in the area. We asked D.C. police if this may have been a part of a string of car break-ins, and we're waiting to hear back.